All right, what's going on Amazon community? Curtis here. And in today's video, I'm really, really excited to share with everybody an awesome tool that me and my product sourcing team have been using now for the last couple of months to help enhance and really fine tune our product sourcing abilities. This is the AMZ Scout product database. So with all that being said, you know, there's a couple of different ways to use this AMZ Scout tool. Uh, coming from the wholesale uh, Amazon seller background, uh, I find this tool very, very powerful because we're able to use it, you know, in, in really a couple of main ways. The first way that I want to walk you through uh, this scenario, let's say your supplier calls you up and they say, hey, Curtis, we got this hot new product that just came in on our showroom floor. We want you to take a look at it. Uh, tell us what you think. Is it a good fit for your for your business? So what I do naturally, I go on Amazon. Uh, I try to find the the product ASIN, and then I immediately take it over to the product database, and then I, I plug that in, and I, I go from there. Okay. So I'm going to walk you through exactly what you you need to do if one day you get a phone call or you see an opportunity where you know you're able to purchase inventory but you're not quite sure of the statistics. Um, so let's jump right in. So first thing you want to do, you want to find out what category the product uh, that you're searching for lies under. So we'll go ahead and select the health and household. Next thing you want to do, you want to drop in the UPC code or the ASIN. I really prefer the ASIN because UPC codes can be a little finicky and, and not always match up. ASIN, however, is always going to bring you up uh, that product no matter what, right? Because one ASIN, one product inside of Amazon's database. Because AMZ Scout is uh, has a direct connection with Amazon, they're able to pull the product info right out of Amazon with the ASIN. Um, because we have the product category already selected and the product ASIN, we do not need to go in and fill out price reviews or any of the other filters because like I mentioned before, ASIN equals one product on Amazon no matter what. For example, um, in the other examples, I will I'll walk you through filling out all of this stuff in the other way that we, we use this tool, okay? So for the first way, I just wanna plug in category and ASIN and I go find products. So after the tool is populated and, and given us some data here, so this is the product which matches the ASIN as you can see right here. So from left to right, it shows us a nice picture of the product, it shows us that it's a new product, that it's actually trending on Amazon and its, uh, its sales are actually growing and the number of views are actually starting to increase as well, okay? Shows us the category, but we already knew that because we selected it before. Here's where the tool really starts to get powerful. Shows you how many sales per month. And what I really, really like, and the rest of my team really likes, is the estimated monthly revenue in a dollar amount, okay? As you can see here, it's uh, $104,000 uh, that this product actually generates. So about 30, yeah, about 3,073 sales, which is super, super powerful for this one little uh, bottle of, of painkiller, Tylenol, arthritis painkiller. However, it's a very, very niche product. And when uh, there's an old saying that the riches lie within the niches. So if you, uh, you double down on the niches like this, arthritis, for example, is a niche that you know a lot of people are, are battling with. Arthritis is a, it's a very bad uh, pain throughout your body. Um, if you're able to satisfy and, and offer some sort of remedy for that pain, then uh, you know you're you're going to be able to always connect yourself with money, right? That's just a little helpful tip. But back into this tool here. Uh, again, we got our sales, we got our estimated revenue, which is I love that that feature about the tool is is awesome. Shows us our rank, it shows us our selling price, and it shows us our um, FBA fees. It tells us our uh, net 
after all the feeds have been taken off, uh, the date in which it was added to Amazon, and some other information like the reviews, the overall rating, the weight, the overall number of sellers on the listing, all super, super powerful information that you don't have to go on Amazon and start scrolling through and pulling up your calculator and trying to plug in all these, these numbers. The tool literally spits it out for you and it saves a, a whole bunch of time, right? One thing I do want to point out though, is that you can actually take an in-depth look at the product's price, which is outlined in the uh, orange line here. And you can actually look at the product's rank over time as well, which is outlined by this blue line. And then as you can see on the bottom here, it points out the time. Uh, and then up on the top here, you can actually expand this to go from one month view to a two month view to a two year view, and then uh, an all time view, okay? Super, super helpful if you wanna get a snapshot on, you know, what did this product look like during uh, Q4 last year? So you're able to go in and look and say, okay, cool. In November, the price actually uh, increased a little bit here throughout December and then, uh, or sorry, yeah, the price increased throughout November. In December, it dropped off just because around that Q4 rush, everybody's you know dropping prices, trying to win that buy box, that sort of thing. So you're able to get a really, really in-depth look, uh, which is what I love about this tool, the product database. So that's the first scenario. Again, supplier calls you up or you call your supplier and you find out that they have you know this type of product on, uh, on their showroom floor. They're asking you if you want to buy it. You're not really sure about the, the numbers overall. You uh, All you got to do is grab that UPC, preferably the ASIN. So just head on over to Amazon, grab the ASIN, and then uh, come back to this tool, plug it in. Remember to select your category so you can get really detailed and make sure that you, uh, you find the right product and uh, away you go. One thing I did forget to show you, and I'll show you right now, is the, uh, the fee calculator, right? So let's say... Or first of all, they have all the other information filled out for you, like your product sale price, product weight, dimensions, shipping weight, packaging size, all that stuff. So then it does some calculations for you in the back end, and uh, it'll calculate you know your overall storage fees, your pick and pack fees, uh, referral fee, and all that stuff, which is determined by sale price, product weight, product dimensions, that thing. Only thing you got to know is how much you're actually paying for the product, right? So for this product, I remember seeing it, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was around $12, the low, low, low 12s. So let's add some shipping onto that and let's add the, the sticker, the FBA FNSKU labeling. So we'll call it uh, 12, we'll call it 1250 because this is a super, super light product. As you can see here, the total fee is $8. And if these um, numbers are within the range that I remember seeing them as, the total profit for this actual product is around $12, which is pretty, pretty awesome. I'll actually have to go back and check and make sure that I didn't mess that up, but I'm pretty sure I'm banging on with my numbers here. And the estimated monthly revenue for this product is about $39,700 for the entire listing. Of course, that's the profit calculator on the product database. So again, that's the first scenario that we use in our wholesale business. So let's show you the second scenario. So let's remove the product ASIN. Let's, uh, I guess we can leave that up. So let's say that you know, you're really curious and you wanna find product opportunities now. So you don't actually have a supplier that's calling you and saying, hey, I have these hot deals. Um, let's say you, you know, you're in explore mode and you just wanna get out there and you wanna find you know, profitable, relatively well selling products. You know, where do you start? What do you do? So first thing I would ask myself is, you know, what category am I eligible to sell in? Do I have any restrictions? If no, uh, you know, you can select the categories in which you desire to sell in. So, you know, you want to sell in toys. You want to sell in video games. Do you want to sell in health and household like we just had selected with our Tylenol? 
and you go ahead and you fill out the categories that you want to, to sell in, right? Or you want to source products in, and then you click apply. Remember, don't go ahead and click everything just because you want to sell everything. I would recommend going through this, you know, category by category, uh, filtering out and narrowing out all the different types of products. That way you get a really good feel, you know, for the weights, the average prices, uh, all the little nitty gritty stuff about each product in, in the categories, right? So again, don't go crazy on, on selecting all of these. Just fill out a couple. I'm just going to select the three here just for the for the example. So we got our three categories filled out. You know what? Let's let's keep it super detailed, actually. So let's keep it to toys and games. We'll click apply. Let's go over here. We'll put in Hasbro. And then if you want to, you know, only see products that have a certain sale price, let's say maybe above $40, you can go ahead and put that in there. Maybe you don't want to see anything priced under $20. So you put the $20 in there, you know, for the reviews. If you have a certain preference of number of reviews on a product before you actually go ahead and pick it up for your store, you can plug that in as well. I don't want to see anything with less than 75 reviews, something like that, right? Right here, there's a button for more filters. Go ahead, click that. Before we didn't do that because we already had the product ASIN, so we didn't need to go in and fill out all this other extra stuff. And again, here's some uh, more stuff that you can fill out to help define or uh, refine the research results. So I'll, I'll quickly browse through them. Estimated number of sales. So again, show me stuff that sells more than 5,000 units a month. Don't show me anything that sells less than 20, that sort of thing, right? And then, uh, you know, if you hover over all these things, it has a nice on-screen pop-up to give you uh, a better detailed explanation. Seller type, you know, there's three types of sellers, FBA, FBM, and um, the Amazon seller as a competitor, right? So again, depending on what you want to see here, you can fill that out. FBA, FBM, Amazon, price tier, or sorry, product tier, um, that's standard and oversize. So that'll, that's super helpful if you don't want to source anything, you know, like a, a sofa or a refrigerator, you know, if you're just trying to look for, you know, cosmetics and beauty products, then select the, uh, the, the standard size, right? Weight, again, just hover over that. If you want to see things in a certain price range, all you got to do is put in your price range. Same thing with your rank. If you just want uh, products within a certain rank, 500 to 1,000, for example, you can plug that in. Estimated monthly revenue, I find is super helpful when you're going about it and using the tool in this method. You know, I only want to see products that are going to generate me 3,000 to $10,000 per month. I don't want to see anything that's going to make me $75 a month, that sort of thing. Same goes for rating, number of sellers, that sort of thing. And then here's one for the date first available. So, you know, don't show me anything that's older than or been on Amazon for this long or, or has this age. Uh, I don't want to see anything that's new. I want to see things that have been proven uh, and have a sales history, that sort of thing. Um, listing quality. So then it goes into depth, you know, listing quality score. It'll actually analyze the listing and it'll look at the bullet points, look at the bullet point count, number of reviews, number of sellers, and it has its own little formula that it'll give it a listing score or a listing quality. And then uh, you're able to actually filter that out. You know, don't show me anything with a listing quality uh, of less than a hundred, less than 50, uh, less than 10 that sort of thing, right? So again, that's one that you have to really get comfortable with and find uh, what'll work for you. However, I don't recommend sacrificing and settling for a low listing quality. There's plenty of other products and listings out there that you can hop on that you'll have good luck with, right? And the net, of course, is the uh, last thing here. And that's the difference between the product price and the amount of fees, uh, the min and max, all that sort of thing. So the net is the actual amount of money or amount of revenue that's left over after all the fees, 
all the pick and pack fees, the FBA fees, the shipping fees, paying your vendor for the product, all that sort of thing. So it's like, hey, don't show me anything with an, less than a net margin of 18%. Don't show me anything less margin than 32%, that sort of thing. So I'm not going to go ahead and fill any of this stuff out. I'm going to keep it really, really loose for this example. But again, all I've, uh, I've filled out here is the product category and the uh, keywords. Okay, while this thing loads up here, um, again, this, this method is recommended for people who don't have suppliers and they're just, they want to get out there, do their product research, see what brands, what keywords, what types of products are actually bringing in the most amount of revenue on Amazon on the first couple of pages uh, in the search results. It's a great tool that'll give you a, a really nice overview of all those figures that you want to, uh, you want to get, a, get a handle on. So I'm not sure, oh, there we go. The first row wasn't loading up here. So as you can see, here's our product, a little title for the product, the ASIN, tells you who's selling it, tells you what the brand name is, trending, new product, um, category, estimated number of sales, estimated monthly revenue, the rank for that month, sale price for that product, fees associated if you want to sell this via FBA. Um, the net that's left over after you've satisfied the fees, that sort of thing. However, do remember that you have to put in your purchase cost here in order to get a true reflection of profit, okay? Don't think this is your profit. This is what's left over after you've paid all your fees. You have to factor in shipping to Amazon and your cost of goods. Date first available. Uh, number of reviews, rating, product weight, number of sellers, uh, all that good stuff that we talked about uh, on the first example, right? So again, super helpful tool for a beginner, an experienced seller. Uh, it doesn't matter. This is just a great tool overall that aids uh, in your product research and that will help you level up uh, in your product research and your purchasing decisions. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. I hope I didn't leave anything out. If anybody has any questions at all, just drop a, a comment or reach out to us and we'd be happy to, uh, to answer your question or go into a little bit more detail uh, about this video and what we talked about. Look forward to putting out the next video and have a great rest of your day, everyone.